Oh my god, I just realized what happened. I scratched Limon and I'm so sorry. It was so unnecessary, like it was totally avoidable. It was completely my fault and luckily like nobody got hurt and nothing happened to somebody else, just to Limon and I'm really, really sorry for that. Whoa, can I go here? <laughs> so what happened is I came to this small, tiny town called Kula. I didn't know anything about this town. I heard it's beautiful, so I came here. There's basically only one hotel in Kula, which is like in the middle of the town. And I was like, okay, no worries. I'll just drive there and see if I can just park there. As I was driving into the town, I was amazed. I was like, wow, this is beautiful. Little did I know that just a few minutes later, the accident would happen. It's an old settlement and the houses were basically built in the 18th, 19th century. So the streets are very narrow. Also the sun was shining right into my face, like it was impossible to see anything. I don't even see anything. going the streets were empty I was like yeah that's my chance <laughs> so I just kept going and it was only like two minutes left until I would get to the hotel so I was like great And I was like in a very narrow street. I almost got a panic attack because it was just so narrow. I really had to pay attention. I was stressed, I was sweating, oh, but I kept going. I told to myself, okay, if this street gets even smaller and narrower than it already is, then I have to go all the way back without the possibility to turn the car, which would be horrible. So I started sweating even more. I just kept going because I thought, okay, um, probably it will get wider and I'll get out of this misery in a second. So I just kept going. but it didn't get wider, the street didn't get bigger, it just became tinier and tinier and at some point there was another car in the way. Help, I cannot go. Oh my God, that's horrible. Take a deep breath and just go back. Like I had no other choice. like if there's a stair in the middle of the street I would not be able to see it so I just kept going and hoping that the sun would like turn into a shadow at some point oh, it was horrible <laughs>
I'm sure like I looked super helpless and luckily it was an angel sent to me in this situation there was an old man he helped me like he was with his motorbike probably had stuff to do was busy as well but he saw me crying in the car looking for help and he understood me <laughs> Yani Buddha bi hotel va? Ha. Hotel va Buddha. Beni takip et. Evet. Ama orada bir araba yani çok Araba mı orada? Evet. Buradan gelebilir misin? Tamam. <gülüyor> çok evet, teşekkür ederim. Tamam. <gülüyor> So he helped me and he told me to follow him. I was like, okay, great. At least I have someone who can watch me and tell me if I get too close somewhere or something like this, or at least help me out of this miserable situation. <sighs> then I had to turn in this narrow street and Sorry for this guy because he really helped me a lot, but in this moment I was just really... Like, it took some time until I was able to turn the car. It took me like a long time until I could turn the car, but I made it. We did it. <laughs> Everything was great and we got out of these narrow streets, the streets got better. <laughs> and then there was someone coming from the front and it was okay because he was stopping, he let me pass and everything was good. So I just went on, there was a curve, I turned and then I just heard So I just realized that my car got scratched. In this situation I really didn't think about the scratch because I just wanted to get out of this narrow street and I had this old man like showing me the way so I had to focus on him and there was a guy so ah yeah. I'm so sorry Limon At the same time I was like oh no that was not good it was just so unnecessary because I was already out of this narrow street. 
like the worst was already behind me and probably I thought like I don't have to pay attention anymore because I just got out of this miserable situation but that's exactly when I needed attention the most. Ha! Bruder, pack ja hier rum! Yeah, that's basically what happened. Take the next left onto Ahmed and Tay Sokak, then turn right onto Zafer Sokak. So the whole backside of Limon is scratched. Oh my god. I'm really sorry. I must say that I was really calm in the situation and I didn't lose my mind. So I think emotionally I did a great job, but practically I didn't do a great job. <laughs> Catch me Shosun, catch me Shosun. Oh my god. Anyways, I knew this would happen. Now Limon is scratched. It means I passed the test and now I know how to drive a car, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>